hey y'all and welcome back to another video in today's video i am going to be doing another recipe for my hello fresh subscription so today i am going to do chicken tortilla soup okay i just feel like i had to roll my tongue with it like chicken tortilla soup anyways um y'all so let's just hop right into it because i gotta cook I'm trying to cook a little fast while Zuri sleep okay so i got the chicken tortilla soup y'all it's supposed to say it's a five minute prep 35 minutes to cook stitch 600 calories this is a two person serving so let's just get into the bag okay so what are we supposed to have corn so this is my whole kernel corn my scallions okay corn scallions the blue tortilla chips so let me show y'all the kernel corn just the scallions the blue tortilla chips a fourth cup of monterey jack cheese sour cream tex mix paste warm and smoky southwest blend Chicken stock concentrate and the chicken breast. Well, the chicken breast strips. So I'm gonna put the chicken breast strips, the sour cream. What I need first? Okay, y'all. So I wash my hands. So the first thing it said is to wash and dry produce, drain and rinse corn, and pass through with paper towels, trim and thinly slice. slice the scallion separating the white from the greens and then season the chicken okay y'all so I'm gonna wash the scallions off set them right bow right there and then I'm gonna open the corn and so while I chop up the, sta the scallions I'm gonna char the corn Makes sense if I can open the corn shit. How you open it? Oh my god. That's what the that's what the good Lord made scissors for. That's what he made scissors for. Oh now I wanna open. Let me drain and rinse the corn. Okay, so I've made the executive decision to chop the scallions first, then focus on the corn because I don't want to mess the corn up. So. Get my handy dandy knife and chop these scallions up. So the scallions are chopped. Now I'm going to heat a drizzle of oil in a medium pot and add corn and, and season it. So this is my medium pot. Let me rinse out my pot. So I'm going to add the corn. Well, it said add a drizzle or and heat it up. Yes. This is olive oil, y'all. And I'm gonna heat it. So. And I'm gonna move my oil around. Okay, and then I need some salt. Some salt in the sugar stickers. Or some sugar in the salt chickens. I trust HelloFresh's judgment, but I'm not just gonna season my corn with no salt. Just just salt is enough. Not just season it with just salt. So the pot's getting hot. I'm gonna put the corn in. Here we go. Put the corn in. And I'm, it said add a pinch of salt. I'm going to just add a pinch just me doctoring it up. Y'all follow the recipe. But I know myself. <laughs> Y'all follow the recipe. Okay? So, and I'm going to just mix that around in there. Okay? And so, the corn is seasoned up 
in the in the olive oil in the pot and it says leave on for four to six minutes it is approximately 5:33. so at 5 40 that's when i'm gonna turn the corn off so we're gonna let the corn do its stuff this will turn the heat up a little bit it's supposed to give a little charred look so next thing you know next thing we're doing is we're going to cook the chicken with the drizzle of oil and season it with the Southwest Spice. Now I used this Southwest Spice the other day with um let me get I'm gonna put my put my corn I'm gonna put my corn in this bowl later. Let me throw this away. Okay, y'all. So for my surprise, the chicken in the packs was already like cut. So it's washed right now and i'm about to season it so i'm going to and y'all hear the um corn i'm gonna keep stirring it it's i'm about to cut it off but it hasn't like char like it has a little brown like a little bit of char on it so i'm gonna wait a little minute but this is the chicken right now i am about to season it with some onion powder and salt and pepper in the southwest blend so Okay, y'all so I read through the recipe and I'm about to put the chicken in the pot but I'm gonna put it in the bowl that I'm gonna make the whole thing in because after it cooks the chicken and the oil it wants me to add the scallions and then the corn and the Tex-Mex paste and then three and then add keep adding to the recipe so now I am about to I left my burner on because my mama taught me okay I left my burner on and I'm about to Looks. That's the corn by the way. And this is the chicken. It's about to start cooking. So while the chicken is cooking. Okay, so while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to clean up and gather my life over here because, you know, it takes chicken a minute to cook and then we're going to come back. Hey, y'all. So I'm about to show y'all the chicken. This is what it's been doing so far. Next on the recipe, it says to add the, um, if it'll focus, add the scallions to the pot. The scallion whites to the pot. So that's are these. Let them cook with the chicken. And then start in the corn and the Tex-Mex paste. So, but I want my chicken to cook a little longer. I know it's going to cook longer in the soup. But y'all, I just, I just want it to get a little bit more cooked. Because I don't trust it. I don't trust it. You know, I can't. It's salmonella going around. So, I'm going to just. But this could a little bit more time. I'm going to get some to get some more. Take it around a little bit. Take it around a little bit. Clean up as you go, guys. So, this is what it's looking like right now. It's the shadow for me, y'all. It's because my ring light over there. Chicken and corn, girl. It's 
So then, stir in Tex-Mex paste, cook for 30 seconds, then pour in three cups of water. So in order for me to correctly follow that, I'm gonna get my measuring cup and get my measuring cup like this. It's a two cup measuring cup, so I'm gonna just fill it up. Cook for 30 seconds. Like sauce. <laughs> so, 30 seconds. Three cups of water. Stop concentrate. So, this is the chicken stock concentrate, and this is the two cups of water right there. Has it been 30 seconds? I don't think it's been 30 seconds. Pour a cup of water and a pinch of salt. They love salt. That's my pinch. And it say bringing it to a boil. So we're gonna turn up the heat in a bit. And I'm gonna stir. How are we looking so far? I think I added everything. Okay, y'all. So it wants me to add the tortilla chips in there. I'm just waiting on the soup to come to a bowl. Now let's a little bit. Now we wait for it to come to a boil. Okay, y'all, so the soup is finished and I've tasted a little bit, look, bit, and it's good, y'all. All I did was bring it to a boil, let it boil for a couple of, like, two minutes and then let it simmer. Um, now I'm finna make me a bowl and add the sour cream and cheese and the ch the the green part of the scallions and it's lit okay I'm excited. It's hot though. Okay. Yeah, I got me a cup. But it's hard. But I got to go upstairs for my birthday. It's so good, bro. So if y'all liked it, follow the recipe. Let me know how y'all like it. I'm going to finish watching Clarence and Queen because that's my dog. And I'll talk back to y'all in the next one.